Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. In today's video, we are going to be talking about another beautiful plant called as the Polka Dots. I'll put up the scientific name on the screen. Now, if you remember, I had the pink one which was grown from a cutting. You can see it's doing extremely well. Now, I went ahead and recently purchased the red color one because when I went to the nursery and I happened to see this, I just couldn't stop myself from buying this beautiful red Polka Dot. So, this one uh, usually tends to get the red color comes on when the plant tends to get quite mature as you can see the mature leaves are going to be quite red in color but if it does not get a lot of light or if there is less light then the leaves will be a little bit more on the greener side or at times the new leaves will start to come out slightly green and over the period of time as in when they start to mature they will turn red in color like this one it's a very small tiny one you can see probably it was not getting a lot of light in the nursery that's why it is a little bit green this is an extremely easy to grow plant a lot of people tend to grow this plant in terrariums especially the closed terrariums along with fitunias and i feel a combo of fitunia and polka dots tend to work out really well it makes the terrarium look very attractive because both the plants have very small leaves and very bright intense color on their foliage so they tend to work out to be the best combo that you can use for an enclosed terrarium now guys the plant is very easy to take care very low maintenance first free plant provided you give the basic care requirements which we are going to be talking in this video let's start off with light which is the most important thing for polka dots now guys a lot of people say that this plant can be kept indoor. Uh, you can keep it indoor as long as there is a good amount of indirect bright light. If you're placing it indoor, ensure you're keeping it in a very bright spot because if this plant does not get the required amount of light, the beautiful foliage, the beautiful color on this foliage or the polka dots will start to reduce and the plant will start to revert to green in color. Now, the reason why we are purchasing this plant is, of course, because of that beautiful, intense color on the leaves. If you're going to keep it in low light conditions, then that color is going to fade off and your plant will start reverting to green in color. It will not look very attractive. Apart from that, the growth is going to be very slow because of lack of light and it will also start to stretch. So ensure that you're giving it a good amount of indirect bright light or even medium indirect bright light is going to work out really well. You can even give filtered light as well. Light is the most important thing in order to keep the foliage colorful. Now, talking about keeping this plant outdoor, ensure you're not keeping it or exposing it to direct sunlight because if you're going to expose it to direct sunlight, the leaves will start to curl or they might even get burned. Excess amount of direct sunlight will also fade off that beautiful color that is present on this uh, plant. So you have to balance the light wherein it's not too low, it's not too direct. So you have to keep that thing in mind. Now, talking about the soil mix, I tend to use the same soil mix, which is a mix of coco peat, garden soil, sand and perlite. They prefer a loose, well-draining, airy soil, a soil mix that tends to retain a slight amount of moisture. Do not let the soil stay soggy wet, otherwise the plant will have a root rot. So ensure the container or the pot that you're using should have a drain hole so that the excess water can drain out. Now talking about watering, again, this is a very essential part. As I said, they prefer a slight amount of moisture, but not soggy wet soil. Whenever you see around one inch of the upper layer of soil is dry, go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole. If you're not going to water this plant, the plant will start to wilt. Uh, it will start looking very droopy. The leaves will start to curl. And if it is kept underwater for a longer period of time, then the plant might even die. So you have to be extremely careful that you're doing a balanced watering. Now talking about uh, fertilizers, please do not use fertilizers during winters. You can add probably once a month a little bit of liquid based fertilizer a week strength during the summer season because they are in their active growing period. They also bloom during the summers. So you can go with any liquid based fertilizer, but a very weak strength. They're not a very heavy feeding plant. So ensure that you're keeping in mind. The same thing goes, uh, you have to Increase the frequency of watering during summers, reduce the frequency of watering during winters. This all depends upon your environment and climate. Some people have more dry summers, some people have a little bit of a humid summer. So you have to check accordingly and water your plant. Now talking about propagation, they are the most easiest plants to propagate. All you have to do is do a stem cutting. You can do a root division, but the stem cutting tends to work out really well because it's very important to prune this plant. Otherwise, the plant can get leggy. So every time you prune the plant, all those cuttings, you can collect it and put it back into the soil and they will grow into a new plant. It's very, very easy to propagate your polka dots. 
Now talking about pest issues, yes, this plant is a pest magnet. It tends to get affected with mealybugs quite often as compared to other plants. So always do a routine check. Usually you will tend to find the mealybugs on the stem. So always do a routine check. Use any organic solution that you have been using for this plant and it will take care of it. But doing a routine check once a week or once in two weeks is very important because they do get affected with mealybugs. You can always keep this plant away from other plants because uh, otherwise the mealybugs can also transfer onto your other plants and always try to treat the plant at the early stage in order to reduce the risk of infestation. Talking about temperature and humidity, this plant is native to the Madagascar. So they basically are from a very tropical environment. So you have to offer a good amount of humidity. Any humidity above 60 to 70% is going to work out really well. They prefer a slightly warmer environment. That's why they tend to do much better during the warmer season or during the summers. They tend to put out a lot of new growth. Now talking about is this plant toxic? Uh, luckily, this plant is not toxic. Uh, it's safe to keep around your house or in your garden. So it's an absolutely easy very low maintenance fuss free plant now if you are a person who is completely exhausted with the space and you have a very little minimum space in your garden and you want to add something very colorful in your garden then i think you can add polka dots because they don't require a lot of space apart from that they come in various different colors and different patterns you can definitely check them online or in your local nursery they will be easily and readily available because these are not very rare plants they are very common you can easily find it in your local nursery as well so i will be visiting my local nursery to get the white one and i also seen another pink one uh, the one that i have are more of the polka dots but uh, i seen another pink one which uh, was more of patches of pink on the green and the green was very less it looked absolutely beautiful but i did not have much space in the bag because i'd already purchased a lot of plants but i'm gonna go and visit next time i will pick up the white one and the pink one as well so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting